In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the things you need to know to be able to do um, to print your spreadsheets in Excel. And uh, there's basically two places where you can go to set some of this stuff up. One is on the page layout tab, and the other one is on the file tab. And we'll take a look at the page layout tab first. Um, we're going to be looking uh, mostly at, uh, well, from the page setup group here over through the sheet options over here. Uh, first of all, margins, and you've got some standard choices here. If you don't like those, you can go in here and you can specify exactly uh, how much space you want all the way around, plus how much space you want for the header and footer, uh, whether you want it centered horizontally or vertically, and, and so on. Um, you probably don't need to do a lot with that most of the time. Uh, probably the option I use most often under here is the one to center it horizontally on the page. Okay. Um, also orientation, and there's only two choices for this, either portrait or landscape. And, uh, you know, if it's a little bit too wide, but it's not real tall, you might want to flip it to landscape. Otherwise, you know, the default is usually portrait. Uh, paper size is something that, you know, is not going to change very often. If you're in the United States using a laser printer, uh, chances are you're going to be using 8.5 by 11 paper. Uh, almost a hundred percent of the time. Uh, you can also set the print area, okay, and that's what's going to be uh, printed. Now, usually Excel can figure out where your data is, and it will just print that. So, if all I've got is data here, then that's all it's going to print. So, it's usually pretty smart. You don't have to worry too much about it. If you have a large spreadsheet and you just want to print part of it, you know, let's say I just wanted to print this part of my spreadsheet right here. I'd select that and I'd go up here and I'd say set print area and now if I go here and do a print preview all I'm going to get is what I set as the print area so let's go back here and then if you want to clear the print area that goes back and sets it to the whole thing so now if I go do a file and a print preview now I get the whole thing and notice it is centered left to right it might not look like it's centered but uh, it's actually the cells are centered and there's a little bit more over here on these cells on the left so actually the the left edge is like right over here so uh, it is centered at least as far as the cells are concerned okay you can also uh, there's an option here to put uh, page breaks in and we're not going to worry too much about that there's an option here for background it says choose a background picture to add some personality to your worksheet uh, I'm not sure worksheets need a lot of personality and that's an option I don't think you probably need to use very often at all. Uh, you've got an option here for printing titles and let's click on that and it takes me to the page setup dialog box and uh, this lets me set rows to repeat at top. So I can go here and I can select uh, let's say I want these two rows to be repeated at the top all of the time now obviously I've only got one uh, worksheet here, one page, so it's uh, we're not going to be able to see the effect of this, but if I had a bunch of stuff, well actually we could uh, let me close that and let's click on OK and then let me just take this stuff and go down here and copy that and then let's go down here and you see I've got some dotted lines in there. They may not show up very well in the video, but here's a dotted line between 51 and 52. So let's go down here and uh, do a paste. And now I've got a two-page document. And if I go over here and I do a print preview, uh, it says page one of two. And if I go to page two, I ask that these two lines be printed at the top of every page. And there they are. Now there's a little gap in here, uh, which is actually probably good, so you can see that it changed from one page to the next. Uh, but no matter how many pages I had, these two lines would always be printed at the top. Okay, I'm going to do a Control Z here to get rid of that. And we'll go back up here. I'm going to hit Escape to get rid of the dancing line. Do a Control Home to get back up to the top. And now we're good. Uh, you can also do some scaling here. Uh, you can say how many pages wide you want it to be or how many pages tall you want it to be. Uh, you can scale it uh, to a certain percent. Um, you've got the ability to turn grid lines on or off. 
while you're viewing the spreadsheet and most of the time I think you want those on while you're viewing the spreadsheet and that's the default. Uh, same thing with headings which is your uh, letters across the top and your numbers down the side. I think you want those visible most of the time but most of the time when you print you do not want them visible so you can have that those two options turned off. Okay. And if, if I click on the dialog box launcher here for page setup, it takes me to the page setup dialog box and the page tab here. And I'm going to cancel out of that. If I click on the scale to fit, it takes me to the page setup dialog box. And here's the scale to fit part. Uh, same dialog box, it's just a different area. And let's cancel out of that. And if I go to sheet options here and click on the dialog box launcher, it takes me to the same page setup dialog box, but it takes me to the sheet tab up here at the top and you know this is again where I can turn grid lines on or off I can say if I want it black or white draft quality really doesn't matter anymore um, and whether or not row and column headings to be visible and you go to a print preview from uh, the page setup dialog box as well I'm going to cancel out of there now the other way to get to all this stuff is to go to your file tab over here go to print We've got basically uh, a lot of the same options, but they're just you get to them uh, a different way. Uh, you can select the printer right here. Um, you can select the pages that you want. That's not an option other places, so this is the only place I know of where you can do that. Um, if you want two sided, uh, you can do that here. Uh, collating. Uh, you can set the orientation just like you can uh, when you're back uh, in normal view. Uh, you can set you know the page size you can set the margin so these three things here basically correspond to uh, those three buttons back when we're in normal view uh, and here's where you can do scaling and uh, these options are similar uh, but you don't have quite as many options as you did uh, in normal view and if you want to, to see everything go to page setup and that brings up this page setup dialog box which we've seen before uh, you, this is where you go to if you click on the uh, dialog box launcher when you're back in uh, page layout view. And if we go to margins, we've got some options here for the margins. Uh, if we go to header and footer, uh, this is where you can put in a custom header. So if you always want your name to appear over here in the top right, you put it there. And basically you've got three sections. This stuff will be left aligned, this stuff will be centered, this stuff will be right aligned. And if you want to format the stuff, uh, this is where you go to format it. And so you can pick whatever font and, and size and, and color that you want here. And click on OK. And click on OK. And click on OK. And that will show up up here in the header then. Um, and when you're ready to go, you can just click on print. Uh, the last thing I want to take a look at, if we go back here, the other way to get to the headers and footers is down here in the lower right hand corner on the status bar there's a page layout button and if you click on page layout down here uh, then it actually kind of shows you the, what the pieces of paper are going to look like when you print out your um, your document and it shows you the header up here in three parts and you can go directly in here and edit it uh, you can also uh, scroll down to the footer and if I click down here uh, click there. The header is all, or the footer is also divided up into three parts. So you can uh, go in and do it this way, uh, or you can go to the file menu and do the print preview. Uh, I think a lot of people prefer doing it this way. Uh, actually, I like uh, pretty much staying in normal view when I'm in here. So I'll normally stay in normal view, and if I want to go do a header and a footer, uh, I'll go back to the file menu and go to print preview and do it that way. And probably the reason I prefer to do it that way is because uh, this view uh, has not always been there. So the way I learned how to do it was the other way. Uh, but either way works fine. You can do exactly the same thing. So those are most of the options for printing. Uh, there are also a few options here on the file menu for uh, creating a new document. If you click on that, um, there are some templates here that you can use. And there's a bunch of them online. Uh, if you ever need to do something, uh, you, you might want to check to make sure that uh, there isn't a, a template out there. If there's a template out there that's already done what you want, you can save yourself a lot of work. And, and there are uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of templates out there that you can download for free. 
Uh, if you want to open, uh, that's what this button is for. Save and save as. Those are pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, they take you out of uh, the file menu options here. Uh, print, uh, we just looked at. Um, share um, lets you uh, use SkyDrive to share uh, a document with other people so you can collaborate with somebody even if you're not in the same location that they are. Uh, you can email the document to somebody and you've got some choices here for how you want to email it to them. Uh, you've got some choices for exporting. Um, you know, PDF is probably a, a common um, file export format and uh, you've got close which closes the document and let's go back and reopen it. It'll be under recent workbooks and it's called simple budget and there it is and uh, and we're not going to look at these two um, and there are keyboard shortcuts for most of those uh, if you want to print, it's Control P for print. If you want to open, it's Control O for open. If you want a new document, it's Control N for new. If you want to save a document, it's Control S for save. So those are real easy to remember because they just use the first letter of the command along with the Control key. So those are some basics for manipulating files in Excel 2013.